In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate pressure when temperature changes. Question one reads, home oxygen tanks, which provide an oxygen rich environment, can be dangerous if they are heated because they can explode. Suppose an oxygen tank has a pressure of 120 atmosphere at a room temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. If a fire in the room causes the temperature of the tank inside the oxygen tank to reach 402 degrees Celsius, what will be its pressure in atmospheres? The oxygen tank may rupture if the pressure inside exceeds 180 atmosphere. Would you expect it to rupture? Let's make sure that the units are consistent throughout the question. We are told that the pressure is 120 atmosphere before everything happens, and they are looking for the pressure in atmosphere. So that part doesn't change. In addition, the temperature is in degrees Celsius and this temperature is in degrees Celsius. Now the relationship between pressure and temperature is a direct relationship. And mathematically that's represented like this, where pressure is equal to a constant K times T. If I divide both sides of this equation by T, we end up with P over T is equal to K. That being said, whenever we want to show a change in pressure and temperature, in a closed system, we can say that P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. Now going back to the question, we know what the initial pressure was, it's 120, so I'll replace P sub 1 with 120 atmosphere. Now for this equation to work, and by the way it has its own name, it's called the Gay-Lussac's law, the temperature needs to be in Kelvin. So we need to convert 25 degrees Celsius into Kelvin, I will write it down over here, the conversion. So I'll take 273 plus 25 degrees Celsius, and this is what it is in Kelvin, which is 298 Kelvin. So I'll replace T sub 1 with 298. What we're looking for is P sub 2, so I'll just leave it that way. And the second temperature is 402 degrees Celsius, which needs to be converted into Kelvin. So I'll take 402 plus 273, is 675. So I'll change that with 675 Kelvin. Now to solve this, remember this is a proportion. A proportion by definition is when you have one ratio equal to another ratio. Let me rewrite this for clarity. We have 120 atmosphere over 298 Kelvin is equal to P sub 2 over 675 Kelvin. To solve proportion problems we cross multiply so 298 times P sub 2, that's 298, multiplied to P sub 2. And that's equal to 675 times 120. So 675 times 120 is 81,000. Remember, our final answer needs to be to two significant figures, because that is two significant figures, and these are both three. At this point, I divide both sides by 298 and we should end up with our P sub 2. So 81,000 divided by 298, and we get 271.8. We need this to two significant figures, which is 2.7 times 10 to the power of 3 atmosphere. So will it rupture? Absolutely. 270 exceeds 180, so expect some sort of mini explosion here. In question number two, in a storage area of a hospital where the temperature has reached 55 degrees Celsius, the pressure of oxygen gas in a 15.0 liter steel cylinder is 965 torr. To what temperature in degrees Celsius would the gas have to be cooled to reduce the pressure to 850 torr when the volume and the amount of gas do not change? So once again, we have consistent units. We don't have to worry about any conversions. We'll be using again the Gay-Lussac formula. So I'll rewrite that, P sub 1 over T sub 1, P sub 2 over T sub 2. The pressure is 965, so that changes with 965. The temperature is 55 plus 273. 55 plus 273 is 328. P sub 2 this time is 805, and they want us to find the temperature. Let's go ahead and do that. We cross multiply, so 328 times 850, and then we divide by 965. This gives us 288.9 in Kelvin, 
Remember, now we need to convert this back into Celsius. So I'll subtract 273 from that and make sure that it's to two significant figures. So I'll write down 16 degrees Celsius. And there you have it. That is how to calculate pressure when temperature changes.